Greetings, human. Okay, so I have Bluetooth earphones on, and I don't know what I need to do to make them work because I forgot my headphones. Huh. I can hear you. You can't hear me. I can, but it's coming right through the laptop. How's and that? I, and I wanted to do Bluetooth things, but I don't know. Okay, I'll just take them out because it's not working. <laughs> Hello, know. human. Oh, shut them off. <laughs> They're off and on. Hello? Okay, say something. Hello, human. <laughs> Okay, no, I don't know. Anyways, we will just carry on. Technological issues? I guess so. It's always something, isn't there? Okay, that's all good. All right, let me get out of here. Okay, perfect. All right. So how was your day yesterday? My day was fine yesterday. And yeah. And then Tuesday you had some other, some more calls and stuff going on. Well, I've got, I've, yeah, I've got stuff going on all the time right now. Oh. It's, uh, oh, so. well, in some ways, I mean, in other ways, it's like, holy cow, that's a lot of work to catch up to in terms of yeah. just to keep up. I was thinking that the, uh, in the next, by 2033, a thousand shared knowledge communities across the world. Oh, wow. Okay. You said 20? I said uh, by 2033. Yeah. How many shared knowledges? A thousand. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and so you guys are the first one. I was just thinking about the type of dynamics of what would have to happen mathematically in order to do so. Because oh. in order to have your plan, right, you got to kind of take into account your longer term ideas about what you want to do. And so where, where do you see yourself in five years? Like, how far into the future do you see your ideal job being created? Oh, my goodness. So in five years, I am going to be, um, we're, we're all, like, I, I see us as, as a team, okay? And um, we're all going to all these different places. We are, um, not me, <laughs> I'm not a presenter, but people are presenting. Um, we're in communities and um, sharing like the mapping and we're having conversations, you know, different, like, yeah, I see it all. Um, I'm more of a, the greeter and um, you know getting people's information and getting them to the right direction and all of that type of thing so more maybe organizing and keeping people streamlined and things like that right I, i'm not up on the stage except to say hi <laughs> <laughs> i see Very minimal stage front okay so ideal job no stage background <laughs> Okay. Uh, did you manage to map out your ideal week at all? I'm working on it. Um, so I've got, we, we actually did the hub um, week and month layout. And myself, I haven't got that yet. Um, I'm still in processing. Um, okay, day to day. And then, yeah. So no, but <laughs> simply put it, no. <laughs> okay, but you did work on it a bit. Yeah. Because this is one of the main things is for you, for to define really what, what you want in the future, what you're aiming at, and then figure out the, the communal use of space and time and have you all in alignment around the direction you're heading, so to speak. Right, okay. So how is your week? Like just in terms of uh, any insights, learnings, ahas, breakthroughs? Um, well, 
Well, actually, like what what happened yesterday or the day before, whatever it was, when we laid out, um, you know, the May and a little bit of June um, activities and things that are happening, that will help me break down. Okay, so here's this project, you know, and it'll help me break down that project to, you know, what I need to have, say, this week completed or, you know, that, that the day and things like that. That'll help me break down more um, defined and more of an alignment with, with the girls. And then so... Once I have that broke down, then I will be able to come to the girls and say, okay, here's, you know, what I need from you in this week or whatever. So, yeah, I think that was almost like the starting entry for me to break my, my timeline down. Okay. Because I, I, I am more on, on the back end. So, you know, I'm, I'll be creating the posts or images or, you know, extra posters. Um, I'm creating, you know, Facebook events and all of that type of thing and emails and, and that kind of stuff. So having that layout will bring me more clarity and alignment, as you say. Right. So that's coming from reality design. Um, so what we're doing is we're having a ideal design and reality design. So oh, okay. ideal designs in the future of the, all the possibilities of, of what you want exactly. And then reality design is going, okay, what are we doing now? What's possible now? And what what do we already have in, in the oven, so to speak? So it's kind of like at some point there's a matching between that. Right. But, but what about you in terms of, uh, how about your your meditation in the morning? How is that going? Oh, actually really good. So I am um, getting excited and I haven't mapped it out yet, but I plan to evolve more when the weather gets nicer. So um, I, I want to, you know, bring people out into nature, okay, and let's do, um, you know, some nature time and nature walks and, you know, maybe sit in a circle and and do that kind of thing. So I, I see that evolving into that. Not, I don't see um, a real monetary price to that, except for, um, you know, if we're, I uh, maybe bring um, a herb specialist or some sort of earthing specialist in and, okay, come join us for, you know, $20 per person and join that. So that aspect I see. Okay. Okay, does that make sense? Yep. Um, did, what about those four maps that I sent to you guys? Did you get those printed? Yes. Um, I don't have them with me, but I can go grab them real quick. Yes, please. Okay. Okay, so 
give me a bit of a download as to what you see and um, the wording, how you like it, what you don't like kind of thing. Okay. So right off the bat, um, I see that it's that like they're adjoining, right? They're not separate. They, they kind of um, join in. Oh. If you look at the map behind me, you'll see how they fit. Okay, let me just put that in order then. Yellow, green, blue. Okay, all right. So, okay, so what I see. Okay, so the top left promoter is, oh, okay, synergy, so the inner you Reward is the, or no, inner group, inner you, out to the world, and flow is, I forget. Outer you. Outer you. Inner, inner you is choice, outer you okay, is flow. Outer, you, outer group, okay. Synergy, right, okay, excellent. So you saw that pattern. So that's the beginning of layering, of seeing that you have a foundational kind of map. And then as the maps go on top, you go, okay, that's that part kind of thing. Right, okay. Okay, okay. excellent. And, um, so the inner group is what conversations does the promoter have around, say, face-to-face -face conversations online conversations and phone conversations and what's the contents of those conversations and the meaning so context not content right context okay yeah context and meaning so um bringing the message forward when they're bringing the message forward, say in phone conversations, is it the correct message and is it what we are putting out there into in, into the world from the hub? So that um, actions is the builder. So I'm so like that would almost be Lori, like the promoter. Mm -hmm. um, actions. This would be. Carrie, because she is the builder, say, of products and, and things like that. I think Kirsty was, was oh, Kirsty that. the builder? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And so, I mean, yeah, she, she right, yeah, because she takes action, she gets, gets it done, and um, she would be conscious of the experience and the data as it goes out into the world. Um, cycles. Well, so no, that, and just go back to actions and go to the three different levels. Okay, so team actions. Um, as a team, are we on all on the same um, mind uh, mindset? And what is the experience? So, if somebody's feeling stressed, you know, how are, are we aware of those situations? That's how. I kind of look at it. Community, um, how, how are we interacting with the community, whether it's online, in person, um, you know, face to face, how is that experience for them? And individual, so again, how was the experience for the individual, whether it's online or on a phone or a conversation? And the data. So how, you know, easily does the data stream to them and how do we get almost that message out to them? What's the action that we need to take to get our message out? Okay. Okay. Let me just add some in there just as you're, or maybe should I wait till you're, do you want me to wait till I'm through the whole thing or you're through the whole thing? Or you want me to give you some little feedback as you no, go through? No, feedback is good. Okay, so it's also that from from the point of view of your team, there's individual action where you are doing specifically things by yourself. 
then there's team action where the four of you are doing things or little teams are doing things together. So that is that that's like specifically a differentiation between mm -hmm. here's what I'm doing, here's what we're doing. <clears throat> and then community action is looking to go, what can we do as a community? Uh, what can we as a team go out in the community to do? No, that that can also be there because there's sort of like fractals of these things. So there, right. there's, there's a lot of options as they come together, but it's more as a community, like community of Yorkton or the community of the shared knowledge community, like looking at unified community action as um, a, as a specific thing that we're heading to do. So I'm 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 part of me. I'm just doing what I'm doing. I'm doing things within a team and then I'm doing things within a larger community. Okay. So yeah. So almost like a community movement. Yeah. 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 It's just kind of like, like, let's say everyone went out and collected garbage for a day and everyone in the community did it. Like that's a major accomplishment to get a large community to do something together. Okay. And it's something we don't necessarily do, but you know, that's kind of like, you have to have it in your framework of your mind. To think it's kind of possible or that you realize okay well i'm doing individual actions i'm doing team actions but i'm not really doing any community actions in a sense okay. um okay. and then what that's doing is it's de generating data which is sort of formulating your experience in a sense of if, if you do let's say 15 individual actions mm -hmm. and two team actions and one community action let's say a week that okay. gener that generated data, like that's that's the data of your experience, and so everything that you're doing, everything the team's doing, yeah. is, is generating a certain type of data. I mean, that's just all businesses, right? You mean you work five hours, you made X amount of money, uh, you saw ten different people. Each one of these things okay. is, is data. So it's we're data. We're, we're just looking at sort of like conversations happen within a context that change the meaning, right? So we're, we're looking, you know, these two, we're, we're, we have like the simplest way to organize everything is these four words, cycles of events where actions and conversations take place. You can look at anything occurring right now and it's an event, actions and conversations are taking place and it happens in cycles, whether we know it or not. But it's, it's it's the main thing is thinking in cycles. It's like moving from linear time to thinking in these cycles at different levels of time. Where okay, I'm looking at it from a lunar cycle. Okay, I'm looking at it from a daily cycle. I'm looking at it from a yearly cycle. But having all of them in your multi-dimensional kind of awareness, but you've got different aspects of your life sort of organized by these things. So okay. yeah. so so this is again you're creating a framework in your mind that you all share that becomes the central reference point for how you organize together. Because it's like when you take a word and you break it down into categories, that is really what the word means. Like it's, it's, it's like what I've learned in this type of thing. It's like, these are all file folder categories in a sense. And that the way we organize our concepts organizes how we organize, you know, data flow, information flow, everything about that, right? But we, we have so many different ways of looking at things. Yeah. And so we're, we're just trying to create like, what are the simplest concepts and what are the simplest ways to organize them so that we have the same shared reference point? So you want to go on to the events? Okay, yeah. Okay, events um, is the is the flow which is wait the outer the outer view right okay and yeah so all about events and the conversation around that would be say what's the significance of the event. What's the perspective? And and then we, we talk about like present events, events, past events, future events. And I, I, I would think that you would even be talking about, um, say, the past events. What was the significance? What came out of it? Um, 
what actions can we change? You know, do we want to repeat that in the next cycle type of thing? And future events, yeah, I, I can see, okay, right? What actions need to be taken? How do we get that um, future event? How do we get that out into the outer world? What actions do we need to take? What conversations are happening by the promoter? And are what's the context? The context and the meaning and all of that. Yeah, okay. Okay. So I'm just talking talking to myself. So yeah, they're organizing and the outer use. So we're putting things out out to the world, out to the community. Um, and what are our individual actions to make this happen? Yeah, I see where it all kind of all really works together. So I'm curious about cycles, which is the inner you, right? Choice. Um, okay, so what are your values, your inner values and your goals by, oh Lord, it all, it all kind of just um, comes together. Um, so you, you, you want to keep your, your values in mind and your goals when you're designing all of these types of things. So you're, you're designing stuff on a continual cycle, whether it's by season or by week or by month. Okay. And what is the event? What's the significance? What's the perspective? How is it perceived um, when you take it out to the world? And what, what actions need to be taken? What's the experience? And what are the conversations that we're having as a team? And what is going out there on to the world and to online and all of that. So I see where that's really important is your values. So say for me, it's, it's flexibility. Um, so I need to ensure that when we're having, say, an event, that I have that flexibility to, you know, to be present. Like, do I need to be present? Do I have that flexibility that things will, will happen even if I'm not there? And, yeah, the actions. What, what can I bring to help Builder to get um, the experience and get that out there? And what are the conversations? Okay, so member rewards. Okay, that, that's interesting. So a member reward, okay. So if we go down to that shared knowledge community and you have that map on how people would enter it, tribe it is something with an a and then it's something else allies and customers allies and customers right okay so what's the reward for say a member or what's the reward for somebody to be a member and attend something on a regular cycle customer rewards so, yeah, what kind of almost an incentive can we give a customer to keep coming back? And yeah, the same with allies. So, and, and what are their values? So as a member, what do they value at, as a member, as a customer, what do they value? And as an ally, what do they value in attending an event what is significant to them that they will come to that have been like they've been to a present or past event and what will entice them what will what reward will they get to come to a future event and 
Yes, and what conversations are we having with them so they almost keep coming back to you? Okay, be back. <laughs> okay, so how does that, like as a whole system, as a way to see all the parts, how does it come across to you? Like, oh, yeah, it, it, it totally makes sense. Like, in my mind, anyways, like, um, I'm maybe not seeing it correctly or whichever, but yeah, um, I certainly see how they all link in together. And it's really cool how um, you bring awareness, say, like almost like, like to all these different um, aspects, I guess, of say a, a cycle. So, you know, like a, a, a member or a customer, um, an ally, like, are, are they just, do they just attend stuff once every six months or something like that? So, um, and, and what is our goal? What's our goal? Like, you know, how many members do we want? And how many customers do we want? And how many allies? Um, and yeah, I, I, I do. I see how everything kind of just rolls together and all links in because without the promoter, we, we wouldn't have, we may not have members or we may not have customers and without action and the builder making sure the experience for the customer and for the member and for the alley is you know, gives them value and things like that. Yeah. I, 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 I see it. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So each one of those, uh, spaces is the same as a three by five inch index card. Do you, do you have any index cards on you right now? Yeah. Well, I can run and get some. Okay. Yeah. You want to get some? Okay. We do you have, do you have the four colors or do you just yeah. have white? Okay. Bring the four colors then. Okay, so okay. This is, right now I just have the 11 by 8 sheets, but we do have the big 12 by or 18 by 12 or whatever sheets. So, okay, because yeah. I mean, what I would suggest is to um, print them on the big ones, laminate them, cut them so they sort of fit, and then you can use them in order to sort of when you bring people oh, in yeah. and because there's okay. processes that you can take people through by having this map kind of thing. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll uh, and it's also like a product that can be sold. So it's, you know, you're looking each, each one of these is a product that can be sold that, that you're using. So, um, okay. So now do you, do you have 13 yellow cards? You bet. Oh, good. Okay, so now uh, what I'd like you to do is to brainstorm. So we're moving into a brainstorm combo. I want you to brainstorm on the 13 yellow cards, write down 13 potentially fun events or educational events or something you could do once a, a lunar schedule, once a lunar cycle, you have one sort of amazing event. Okay, so are you wanting me to think this um, event thing as my own event putting on say through the hub or as a hub event? As a hub event. Okay. okay. And just and just sort of like, it's just a brainstorm, just come up with any like, I mean, uh, anything you could think of that could just kind of uh, it could be a, let's just look at a day, a day long. Oh, okay. A day long event. Okay. Um. And something that, um, and how about, um, how about three, three of them are personal space events. Three are one-on-one -on -one event space events. Three are group space events. 
Three are community space events. Oh, okay. And one is a sacred space event. So I'll give you, I'll give you about five or 10 minutes just to do that, okay? Okay. <laughs> it's not coming through. <laughs> okay, why, why don't you give me what you got? Okay, so for community, um, I've got like have, hosting a winter and a summer solstice. Mm. Okay, because that would be out, out yeah. there. Um, for group, as us as a group, I put in like a happiness workshop and say a personal growth workshop, which could be anything. Mm. Okay, and one on one, um, I could have two things. So helping someone plan out you know, social media schedule or like a, a bit of a marketing schedule. And the one, another one on one is mindfulness, say coaching or consulting. Okay. And personal, um, so like just, okay, so I, I put um, mindfulness with nature and self-care. Okay, I think I maybe didn't explain it well enough in terms of the, like one-on-one -on -one events might be sort of like having uh, uh, a couple's intimacy coaching an event where 20 couples come in, I mean, 10, 10 couples come in and then they go through some exercises that are more for one-on-one -on -one type people. Okay. So that's more from the, that's more from the visionary hub perspective. And then the space is, is kind of like the, uh, the main focus because it is a group space, but it's the main focus of the, so it'd be like a one-on-one -on -one space in a group space. You're taking it from a, a personal space into a one-on-one -on -one space. Yeah. So you'll see the spaces like you kind of, each space depends on which you go in first and then you can go into the other five spaces from there. So it's like, if you go into the, let's say sacred space first and then personal space, that's like meditation. You mm -hmm. go into the sacred space and you go one-on-one -on -one space that's more like communion. If you go into the sacred space and then the group space, that's more like a ritual. And then if you go into the uh, sacred space, community space, that's more like a ceremony. But if you, let's say, go into the um, personal space first and then go into sacred space, you could look at that as being sort of like meditation. Right. It's, I mean, it's, it depends. It's, it's just kind of like looking at boundaries, but it's like going into a room that's the, the type of the room. And then in that room, these other rooms exist. And then you go into another room, but because of the first filter, that's the main filter kind of thing. I know it's, it's a little bit strange, yeah. but it, it, it's uh, yeah. thinking in fractals at some point. Yeah. All right, so... Um, so, okay, so if we did at, as the hub, a one on one space. So it would be almost targeted to one. Okay, okay, so I'm Okay, so if we did a one on one space. Are we targeting like just one, say we could be just targeting um, single moms and we bring a bunch of single moms in and that's our one-on-one. -on -one. Is, is that? Could, could do that. Single mom might almost be the, the personal space because they're single, but I, I would like, let's say again, like couples, let's say you wanted to do uh, intimacy coaching in couples and you're doing the convo killers and so you invite them in everyone gets a set two sets mm -hmm. and then let's say over a period of a couple hours you have three or four fun exercises that they do to identify what convo killers do i use what convo killers do they use and then to exchange back and forth what they think that the others do 
that would be a great exercise, I think, for couples. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. That's what you're, I'm still trying to get the concept of one-on-one. -on -one. So I think I'm being confused because when I see one-on-one, -on -one, right, I see, say, Lori's one-on-one -on -one with, with a client. Yes. So, I mean, that's, that's the, that. That's the personal that, side. Well, that's, that's like if you were, it's like me and you right now are in a one-on-one -on -one space. So if let's say we were we started out in a group space and then broke out into rooms where we gave an exercise for everyone to do one-on-ones, that's more coming from the bigger picture. Uh, the hub is putting on an event and the event is more focused on one-on-one -on -one training, which could be you know, just you and somebody. But just what we're looking at here is sort of like, the big event for the hub once a lunar cycle <clears throat> and sort of coming up with, you know, uh, 13 events in the next year that are just each one of them is like, wow. Okay, so we're, we're looking at, so one on one is more like one individual event 13 times in the year. No, um, no, no, sorry, I'm not explaining it well. Um, the, f the first thing is just coming up with 13 events, independent of what kind of event over a period of a year. And then, I mean, it may not be a good way to do it, but just looking at breaking it down into oh, awesome. the, the community space, the group space, the one-on-one -on -one and the personal space. Like, I mean, the thing is, the personal space might be a meditation event. Everyone comes here, they're meditating, it's a, like a day long meditation training workshop where the main focus is the personal space of the, of the personal space of the meditator, right? Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, and you might have another sort of workshop that was uh, inner mapping. Again, that's personal space because one person is just doing their own stuff. Yeah, that's making more sense. And maybe another one might be um, so yeah, so I'm just writing, yeah, example. Uh, might be might be life planning, like personal space life planning. Uh, then the one on ones, it could be uh like you could, you could do conversational, you could do uh, convo types where people are more because one-on-ones, you can really get into them. Uh, you could have a convo type workshop. You could have a couple's con uh, conversation killer workshop. And you could have a... Um, like manager employee workshop conversational <clears throat> kung fu so and then the group you could have you know you already got like the, the hub factor um, but you could have a a more like a day-long workshop for a group value system i think that would, i think i think that you could probably do once a week with different organizations um you know for anyone who wanted to do that, but definitely have one big one where you, where you bring different groups in to do group value systems. Okay. Anyway, so I'll be getting each of you to do this. And so eventually the idea is having a schedule for the next year where once a lunar cycle, you have a big event and then you're looking at your smaller events during the, that cycle, right? But if you if you all come together as a team and sort of master doing a larger workshop, I, at some point you may have like 144 people coming for a workshop. Okay. Yeah. No. That ma that makes sense because yeah, like we're 
right now everybody is kind of um you know of course doing their own you know workshops and trying to get stuff in place we're trying to you know get events and get some money rolling in and we haven't really talked about um how do we introduce say the conversation killers or the value system on a regular basis so this is really good this is really important i think it's it's key for you to introduce this to everyone so we are all on the same page i mean we can continue to do you know the um coaching or the you know financial co coaching or um you know that type of thing but i think this is key to growing our not our 12 knowledge community we yeah. need to really um, focus and get this out there so th this is this is great that's exactly what we need this type of coaching to move this process forward good absolutely okay so couples one-on-one okay group and um community what were your thoughts with that um community could be i mean there could be a sort of like a a shared knowledge community sort of launch like maybe in the fall a launch sort of event where you sort of have invitations like let's say you have 12 round tables in a room and you can sit 12 people at each round table yeah. and so you invite 12 healers 12 originate like you you fill that room you fill the room up and then you show and then we take them through some experiences together where we show them what a shared knowledge community is have, 100, have 144 people in a room and say this is it you know you guys are the sort of community and this and then from then on it's kind of like okay well how do you learn as a community so it's it's sort of a probably be a three-year program after that okay Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, that's it, it. That's yeah, exactly what we need. So that breaks it down into. So if we do. Okay, so can you break that down just a bit more for me? So if we do one large community event, right? How about like one large community event every three months? So once a season you have a large community event you know once a season you have a one group space large event and one you know you're, we're sort of having these cycles of maybe personal space one-on-one -on -one space group space community space personal space groups i'll say i, I think i have a, another map here to show you so it's four community space events one per season, right? Yeah, let me just show you this one. Uh, let me go get it. And then the one-on-one, -on -one, almost once a month, then? What's that? One-on-one, -on -one, like once, once a month? Um, I'll let you find what you're looking for. Okay, so if you see the map behind me here? So basically that's the 13 cycles. And then if you see the blue is the personal space, the yellow is the one-on-one, -on -one, the green is the community and the red is the, the group. Right. And so you essentially could have an event 
link to each of these spaces each each week. Wow. Okay. And then and then each of you is sort of like the leader of that event. So you so each person is sort of more promoting that event and then the other three are support but your main focus is on the other type. So you may be more mindfulness personal meditation kind of event. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Lori might be, you know, they gain some big group space event and uh, Carrie and Kirsty are doing the one on one and the uh, the community depending right it just right. The, what we're looking for is is these cyclical things where you're getting to the same habits you understand yeah. everything that's occurring is is we've done it before okay now we're going to do it again and each time you're just mastering it so it's kind of like figuring what is the best to do like i mean if you had a a monthly like every month you had a one-on-one -on -one, uh, couples communication workshop like that's something which you might get repeat people every month coming to right so you can sell year-long programs so it's it's sort of like again looking at to get your financial thing stable you got to look at okay well how is that at, at year you have resources and abundance so you're looking at okay well what resources are coming in through which revenue streams in which time cycle and so at the beginning it you know might you know you're, you're aiming to reach your goals in each one so if you have a workshop that you want 20 people coming in the first one maybe six but then the second you get 12 and then the third you get 20 from then on you're just booked because it's so good right yeah. So it, it takes about four or five times to sort of get going, right? But I, I, it's like the hub factor. You've only done it twice. And I heard that some woman said it was the best experience of her life or something. Yeah. Yeah. The one that was just here on Tuesday, she had never seen anything like this before. And it just blew her blew her away. And, you know, that, that, that tells you something, right? I mean, yeah. even if you just use the hub factor and that was your group space thing. And once once a week, you do a big one and maybe start adding some pieces and charge a little bit more, whatever it is. But it's, it's just like, we have to figure out sort of like the low hanging fruit. Yeah. Like what is simple to do, easily repeatable. Each, each of you is psyched to do it. And it links into sort of like your ideal job of sort of how you want to do things. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And um, I definitely think that we need to figure out more of the shared knowledge mapping and bringing that forward so we can rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Yeah. Like you call it like seasonal and things like that. Yeah, absolutely. And so people, and then people know that over time uh, you're building something, but also we'll start to introduce the online communication where more of the stuff is going to happen, right? Like, I mean, if you're meeting weekly, but in between people are daily exchanging, you know, um, discussion. I mean, that's, that's what you want to stimulate, right? You want to stimulate friendship and, and, and knowledge sharing. Yeah. Friendship. And I okay. think, and I think something like in the convo killers, you know, one of the, I remember this one guy who, who, who came into companies and helped them sort of change their culture. And I think he had three rules and I don't remember the other two rules, but his, his one rule was no gossip. Mm, okay. <laughs> and that could be radical, you know, that uh, everyone in the shared knowledge community, you just, you don't gossip about each other. Right. And you know, that, that, that alone, <laughs> I don't know if it's possible, but um, changes the nature, right? I mean, if you've got a problem with someone, you know, learn how to deal with it face to face. And yeah. if someone is, is doing something behind the back as a culture, you go, you know, I don't want to participate, right? Because that, I think that really does hinder human connection. Well, yeah, people don't know how to have an open conversation without, you know, say, criticizing or talking about somebody or, or things like that. Like it's, it's really, really hard for us. So I would love to break the system down more so I can get, um, so what's, what, what's running through my head right now is, okay, so we're doing the hub factor. 
Okay. So, and so many people are intrigued. So what's the next step? What I see as our next step. Okay. So say for $20, um, come again for the next step of, of the hub factor. And we'll do more say of, uh, it would be more of a, a, a choice. So more of the inner you. And we're going to put you around the table. You're going to take the, and we'll, we'll, uh, what I see is taking your, your question and go to each, each one. Oh, with the same question. Yeah. It's an interesting way of doing it. I mean, it, it depends on, I mean, essentially, I mean, people can ask another question, right? Like next week would be a different question. It's, it's a new world. So it's kind of, it, it depends on the person I would suggest. Um, I've never done that before. It might, it might be a great way of doing it. I wouldn't yeah. say I wouldn't be against it. Um, I would give the person the choice unless you specifically went, you know, I want to create four hub factors. You ask the same question and you go through each one of them to get deeper perspective, which I think right. could be very valuable. Oh, okay. So that's using that map, but what, what more, like, do we introduce something new to them? So if you've got, if you've come to the free hub factor, um, here's what we're doing, you know, next month and, you know, get them signed in to experience the next step for, for $20 we're going to do like a, would you do like a synergy map or would you do a choice map and well, values or, right? Yeah. I, I want to see that next okay. that step because we're stuck. Okay. We're, we're not there. I mean, you don't have to do the, you know, figure it out right now, but what is our next step? Okay. Because so I did, I did, I, I think we need a survey that the person takes to identify where they're at in their life to see what to see where there are so it's more like a needs analysis okay um because i think that one there's individual coaching that they can get through from each of you depending yeah. upon which stream they want to go and i think you know i'm all i'm beginning to see what i got to map out here and they also um they want to be on a team so like like people who go i want to build a shared knowledge community mm -hmm. are going to go through a different process that people that are just sort of allies that are sort of like i'll come we'll do some things but we're not sort of jumping on board versus right. customers that are just here to do this workshop and just do this and they're not really participating right right so there, oh, yeah. there, the, the, the next step is sort of doing a diagnostic on who they are, where they are, what they want to do, and how much they want to participate. Okay. So out of the hub factors that we've done so far, um, the potential is maybe three people so far so two in health and one in um like he's he's a writer so maybe an artist okay. okay and it would be he because we spent probably you know an extra two hours with them after the hub factor you know just trying to get them to get them know, know to know them better and for them to understand and vice versa so it would be worth bringing them back for another experience for more understanding i i would think at the minimum you could the minimum the people who are interested mm -hmm. love the experience yeah. have like on thursdays is twenty dollars you know here's the open table now this is the next this is the quick next step for you if you want to come weekly to this basically it's the same format you ask a question and you get an answer i mean it's it's just it's a good positive experience to get to know people right right so, yeah. it's, so it's like i would call it a weekly mastermind 
and find a date that is good during the week and see, you know, who's going to facilitate it. Cause you know, maybe you don't have to have three people there. I mean, you got to start to, to yeah, teach, so teach specific things yeah. and, and then uh, have that open uh, for people who want to do it weekly just to start so that you can do and you can sort of fill up. And once you got that filled, you could do it again at another time. Right. So, I mean, to me, the hub factor just by itself without anything else is, yeah. strong, is strong enough to do that. You have the intro and then you start filling up time slots with teams. And then we, we can get more specific, but again, we're looking at that weekly schedule and you're, you're, you know, you have to sort of at some point, you know, what we're aiming at is everyone knows the, the things they're scheduled to do, like we're either making money here or we're sort of marketing to fill the slots that are making money, right? So we got to focus on the money and focus on getting you girls going you know, as soon as possible with something that's simple and recurve, you know, recursive and you're, and you're moving out of the operations into the services. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So I think our time's come to an end. Yeah. And I hope that helps to get this forward a little bit more. Absolutely. And uh, great work. And I look forward to seeing how you run this because I, I think that this is, I think you'll see that you can use the, the index cards, right? As the methodology to start to sort of really organize everything. Mm, okay. 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 Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great day.